hi, I look crazy. But today I have, I've been feeling down the last at least few days. So I decided that I needed to do something to make myself feel better. And one of the number one ways that I feel better is by actually um, trying to get ready, putting on some makeup, something like that. So even though, you know, my hair is going to need some work, <laughs> um, I just wanted to kind of get it out of the way a little. Um, well, I put some makeup on. A little bit of this green correcting concealer and then hope that it because the rosacea is still acting up on this side I don't know if you could see that um, at least as much as I can so it's it's not been fun for sure um, it's making me feel very um, hot which is really weird because you know, I'm not a light skinned person. I, you know, I am a darker skinned person, tanned, olive skin, whatever you want to call it. And for me to have constant redness in my face and mostly concentrated on one side makes it feel like I have um, a fever because that's the only time I really ever get red and stay red is when I'm, you know, fevered, feverish, whatever. And so it feels weird to even, I don't know why it feels weird because I've been dealing with rosacea for so many years. You would think that I would be used to it by now, but apparently I am not. And David wants to go get a coffee and I'm completely okay with that. But I thought that I had time to get ready because he was going to, he, I thought he said he was going to go take a shower. I guess he said, um, I guess he didn't say that. So I'm like, okay, can I have, you know, 15, 20 minutes so that I can get ready? Because I rarely ever do anymore. Like rarely ever get ready anymore. And mostly, especially since I've been sick, I haven't wanted to do anything. You know, like my back hurts a lot right now and <clears throat> I just feel uncomfortable in my body because I'm full of aches and pains and it's not fun to feel that way at all. And I'm like, okay, so it's going to be 98 degrees today. So, of course, I am using my super goop protectant um, daily SPF tint in SPF 50. This is in 26W. I think it matches my skin tone pretty well considering it's just a tinted sunscreen and not a um, it's not a foundation or anything but I think it matches pretty well so I don't um, I don't necessarily feel like I need foundation right now, especially because I just, I'm just not feeling it. And I don't even know where it's at, even if I wanted to put it on. So yeah, we're just going to try to not be as red right now, even though my um, blush is pink, really pink. Um, we're just trying not to be overly pink then this obviously is not the right brush but again we're in a hurry um so for this week we are officially 15 and a half pounds down in um you know this is just the week or the this is my fourth fourth injection, which means it's the beginning of the fourth week. Um, so in three weeks, I am 15 and a half pounds down or three full weeks. In three full weeks, I am 15 and a half pounds down. And I think 
that that is pretty good um considering but I you know I'm not trying to be all like like uh insanely worried or concerned about certain um numbers on the scale right now right now I am just trying to learn how to um navigate this new experience that I'm dealing with um with having almost no food noise um being very oh gosh I don't know what it is with this eye but my eyelashes for some reason started getting smashed and growing in that way at the end especially and I don't know why that is but it's super annoying and so anyways um with that with um I'm just trying to learn to to cope and deal with you know these new things that I've never before experienced you know like not having the constant food chatter going on not constantly having to like think about what's next you know did I eat enough did I not eat enough am I doing this wrong am I doing that wrong is this good food bad food you know um why did I eat this why didn't I eat that all of that conversation that is normally going on in my head is not there so it's a little I know this sounds really weird but it's a little distracting because I'm so incredibly used to it being there that right now that it's not, I don't know how to feel and I don't know what to think. And so it feels different. It just like, it, part of me even wants to be concerned with how different I feel, how like off, how unlike Delilah I feel, which is really weird and, you know, it's not normal, and I know that, but, you know, I'm not normal. I fully admit that. I am not somebody who simply knows how to go about life as a normal person because I've never been normal. I've always been, you know, since I was 15 or 16 is the first time that I remember being 296 pounds and... Like, that's the real weight that I remember for the majority of my, you know, young adult life. Um, I don't know, remember whether or not I was, like, clocked in at a different weight from, you know, childhood or what have you. But that is the number one weight that I remember being for the longest amount of time in my life. You know, from 16 to about 35, I was um, that weight. So it's hard for me to really be able to know how, you know, normal or, um, you know, barely overweight people or people who had you know, even a hundred pounds to lose. I've had more than a hundred pounds to lose for as long as I can remember. And it's really just different. You know, it's different for somebody who has over a hundred pounds to lose since they were, you know, a teenager, a very young teenager, they grow up different. They grow up being, you know, um, treated differently, spoken to differently. Um, it's like it's like we're looked at as a lost cause, you know. We're we're always going to be the funny friend, or we're always going to be the fat friend. We're always going to be, you know, just we're not going to be the center of attention ever, and that's fine. You know, I never wanted to be the center of attention, but what I didn't want to be was, um, 
sort of, I don't want to say overlooked because I don't enjoy the attention that a lot of people enjoy. But I do want to feel like I am human. And a lot of times when you're severely overweight, you are not treated as though you're a human, which I know sounds really weird, but you're really not. You're treated as though you are, you're pitied. You're, you know, like, oh, poor kid, you know, poor girl, blah, blah, blah. And it's never really any different than that. And that's, I don't know, but it's weird. <laughs> okay. So, you know what's funny? Um, we were sitting down to have breakfast and David goes, you know, you have curly hair. And I go, I do? Like, you know, not that I didn't know that I have curly hair. Of course I know I have curly hair. But I go, I, I do? And he goes, oh, how did you get curly hair? I was like, what do you mean? Like, I was born like that. Like, what do you mean? And he goes, no, that's not what I, like, what he meant was, he's never met my dad. Um, so he asked, you know, did your dad have curly hair? And I said, yeah, he has extremely curly hair. Like, my dad has extremely curly hair. Um, he would comb it and it would just turn into a big afro. Um because of course he didn't know how to take care of his curly hair and I didn't know how either and I still don't know how that well but I'm learning or I'm trying to learn and so my curls come and go and they you know look better some days and look worse other days and blah 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 but you know he was like surprised it was like the first time he'd ever seen me with like hair or something like Bro, it's been six years, seven years, and you're barely figuring out that I have curly hair? Like, naturally? Okay. But I just thought it was funny. So, let's see. I like the color, I think it's pretty. I don't know if it fits me right now, but whatever. Um, we're just gonna do what we do and move on with our day because, again, today is just about feeling human. Feeling normal, feeling, you know, just appreciating myself. Even if it's just by putting a little bit of makeup on, which I know to some people is not a big deal. And to other people, they understand what I'm talking about because it is a big deal for some of us. So let's go this route. This is the beginning of week four. This is my week four injection. And we are 348.5 today, which is 15.5 pounds lost and then we um this is our measurements from the first time we measured on the second so every single measurement has gone down by some except for my neck okay so the let's see the waist is was 66 and today it's 58 two. Um, the belly at the button was 79 three and today it's 77 two. Um, the wrist was seven two and it is now seven. The neck was 16 five and it is still 16 five. Um, my thigh was 30 and three and now it's 29. My knee was 19.6 and now it's 18.6. And then um, the ankle was 9.6 and now it is 9.2. And my arm was 20 and 4. And 
Oh, now it's 19 and 2. The elbow was 12. It is now 11, 6. My bust was 62, and now it's 61, 3. So there are losses across the board for inches, um, except, again, for my neck, which is fine. You know, um, I didn't know that they would be lost, lost inches across the board, especially because I'm losing weight. I didn't know. I don't know. Don't ask me why I didn't know. I just, I guess because I've never looked at the measurement numbers well, I was actively losing. I've only ever compared them when I was not because to me, when you're not losing numbers on the scale, then you need to look at another way to measure your success. And oftentimes for me, that is by looking at the numbers on the measurements but I never really look at them at the same time. So I've never noticed that they go down together. I know I'm 42 years old. You learn something new every day, right? So as of right now, that's where we are. Um, I am still debating whether or not I need to um, move up to five milligrams because again, I am still losing weight every single week. The difference is that I no longer have the um, complete muted food noise and my appetite, my appetite suppression is not what it was in the, the first two weeks. It is still there. Don't get me wrong. It is still there, but it is not nearly as um, strong as it was. And I am fully capable of eating far more now, even if I am not hungry or even if I don't want it, I am 100% capable of eating more because it's still hard to break that if it's on your plate, eat it mentality, which is something, you know, a lot of us have struggled with in life. You know, you grow up hearing from your parents or your grandparents who grew up you know, during the Great Depression, where food was so scarce that if it was served to you, you eat it, period. You clean your plate. So now where food is not like that, even though it's really, really expensive and food waste is a bad thing, why can't you just save it for later? Why can't you just save it for later, Delilah? I don't know. That's something I need to work on mentally. That's something I need to figure out. But I'm working on that. So... We're working on that. And because of that, that is what's making me really want to increase to five milligrams. However, because I am still losing, I'm a little conflicted and still feel like I should stay on 2.5 at least for another month. We'll see what the doctor says in a few days and we'll go from there. But I hope you guys are having a great week. I would love to hear all about your week and how, you know, what your successes were, what you're doing special for yourself this week, what you're doing to show yourself that you matter and you're loved and you're worthy, what your struggles were, whatever it is that you want to share. I would love to hear about it. I just want to be there to give you virtual hugs. I just want to be there to, to just hear you out and listen. So again, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It means the world to me. And it is really, really, really um, helpful to the channel. And more importantly, I really love, I really, really do love the community that we're building here. You guys are just so incredibly giving with your stories. You tell me things about your life that I know isn't always easy and I completely appreciate it. I, com I appreciate the fact that you trust me and you find me worthy of sharing your, your life with and I appreciate it far like, there are not words that I can explain that enough with. So I will see you guys soon. We have a goal to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's six months. We could do it. We're like 75 away. We could do it. We could do it. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye.